Did you notice? With Trevor Noah and with John Oliver, when they talked about Israel and the Jewish people, where there was no but after they spoke about the Palestinians or the Palestinian Authority or Hamas, and that it was always about our strength. But, but is it playing They're to the mob or is, it, or is it endangering like the American it, Jewish community? It is, no, it's definitely dangerous. And is it also, no, but, 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 but we're, we're, we're fizz- seeing a change of, of, of anti-Semitism becoming, becoming something that's normal within pop culture. Right, And that's, wow. a, that's a huge change for the American Jewish experience that, that has never existed. I think that historically, when you have physical assaults against Jews, they are preceded by the defamation of Jews. And when you cast Israel as a force for evil, which is separate, then the issue is might is wrong. Might is wrong is a broader zeitgeist, and I think Israel is kind of the low-hanging fruit of what is essentially an anti-Western, anti-American phenomenon. Right. And people will feel this way and say, we have no problem with Jews. We just think anything that's powerful is bad and that Israel is, you know, has the power and they're weak and that therefore Israel has to do A, B, C, and D. Now, if you have late-night hosts say, accusing Israel of war crimes, like this guy Oliver, who is a moral idiot, <laughs> and he goes, and he, and he says these things Sorry, that was really funny. in his snarky way, yeah. okay? He, he, uh, Israel's accused of war crimes. He has no idea, what, this man has no idea what he's talking about. When you have people who cast Israel as a kind of modern Nazi state, and they're going to be shocked when Jews are attacked in the streets, no, they are taking 2,500-year powder keg, and they are lighting yeah. a fuse. They're lighting a fuse to it, and they have to be held to account by what is happening.